Is my mic not plugged into my camera? It's freaking amateur hour over here. Six and a half hours later. Did I somehow scratch my forehead before I sat down? Dude, I have a scratch on my forehead. I don't remember doing that. My nails aren't even sharp enough to do that. Like how, what in the what, what? Start off real good here, start off really good. <clears throat> Let's hope I can film this video before my daughter wakes up. I feel like the prep takes so long. Okay, so I've got some new products here. We've got some Q and A's rolling in from you guys, so let's do it. Um, I want to try. I'm gonna try some new products. I haven't put makeup on for a few days, and I want to try some new stuff. There are two brands that I have never touched before or put on my face. Period. One of them is huge. Everyone knows this brand. Everyone was shocked that I never used this brand. So we're gonna try it today. And the other is an influencer owned brand that just keeps popping up everywhere. So I would say a few months ago, that's how long it's taken me to sit down and film this video. Um, I purchased some products and I have them here in front of me. So we're gonna try those out and see how they do. I think we're just gonna do something simple today because I can't get too crazy um, because who knows when Harlow's gonna wake up. So let's get started. Six and a half hours later. On this day, six years ago. Oh my gosh, my hair was dark. My internet is sucking the fattest wiener. So we're gonna do a mixture of this or that questions and just general questions. Um, I'm using the, if I don't mention something, I will put it all in the description box, but to fill in some pores, I'm using the Tatcha liquid canvas. My monitor no longer shows me if I'm filming or not. Usually it used to have like a red thing on it and now it doesn't. So are we filming? I'm going to have to fix that. Do you know how like when your workspace just gets so messy but you just have to keep going and keep working that's where i'm at right now like i seriously need to just chill and clean this room and then continue out my business but like there's cords everywhere oh my gosh it's like it's like giving me anxiety just being in here <laughs> i'm gonna be crazy and we're gonna go for another one here this is the this is new this well new uh smashbox halo plumping dew plus hyaluronic acid this is glow. It's like, um, I don't know if you can tell it's kind of like glowy. So I'm just going to put that. See, it's got a little bit of highlight to it. I'm just going to put that on my cheeks and, uh, on my nose and chin They're right there. Ooh, someone said San Diego or Nashville. <clears throat> it's that's a weird one because I feel, I feel, I feel like it just depends on my mood sometimes i am in the mood for san diego and sometimes i'm in the mood for nashville and then sometimes i just really miss the shit out of nashville and i get there and i listen to my country music and i put it on and i'm just like you know what i really want to be here like all the time and then i get back to, and then i miss san diego when the weather sucks there so i they're just they're not two peas in a pod they're just so different i feel like it couldn't be a this or that on that one but nice try this is the nyx bear with me serum concealer if you guys haven't tried this this is probably one of my favorite concealers as i've gotten older um i am 34 years old and my skin just does not wear makeup the same way that it used to so i unless it's nighttime or something i can't really go in with something crazy heavy like i just look older Magic matte oil. I'm not gonna use this. It's from Jason Wu, but I just don't understand it and I'm afraid to put it on my face Someone said Pepsi or coke. Um, honestly, I always get coke if it's there But I shouldn't say always I drink coke like once a month, but when I'm gonna drink coke I will 
go for Coke instead of Pepsi, but if there's Pepsi, like at Taco Bell, I get Pepsi and I just, I don't really even notice the difference. What do you guys, is that like one of those things that I can't like both the same? Breast or bottle for the next baby? I still haven't made a breastfeeding video. I really need to do that. Um, so I really loved how easy the bottle has been with Harlow. Like every time she cries and needs a bottle when we're out, mostly like when she's a little younger, she's eight months now. But like, I just would think I would, I would be like, if I was, if I had to breastfeed right now and we're out in this public place or whatever, like how much of a pain in the butt it would be to breastfeed. So I actually am not super mad about how that journey went. I really wanted to breastfeed her till she was like a year old. So for the next one, I would probably just see how it goes. If breastfeeding is as difficult and hard for my body and me mentally as it was with Harlow, I would do the bottle all the way and I already have the formula. So um, after going through it, it's kind of one of those things like I wanted a natural birth and then when I didn't have one, now I don't think I would go back to a natural birth because I don't know if Harlow would be here with us today if I wasn't in a hospital. That's just the cold hard truth and that terrifies me. So <clears throat> screw what I want, <laughs> like safety. Like that's funny because I used to want to be doing the natural thing for safety reasons and now I feel a bit the opposite. I still like love the natural um, birth plan and everything, but I just like, like straight up, like if I, if I had given birth in a birth center, I don't know if Harlow would be here. Okay. So for eyes, I'm actually going to do a little bit. Of, this is modern muse by clay beauty. Um, Oh jeez. Uh, this, Oh shit. Well, that's some good makeup. It didn't break. <laughs> I'm going to use like, I think I'm going to use kind of these two right here. Maybe this is, um, Ooh, this is, uh, why can't I talk right now? I haven't talked to a camera in a while, guys. Excuse me. Like, except for my vlog camera. Like I haven't sat down in here and filmed a video for a little while. So play beauty was created by Peyton list who I met on a brand trip like eons ago. So this is her brand and I've used another palette of hers and I really liked it. Um, so yeah, that's what we're doing right now. And this does not match my scarf. Oh well. Fussy baby that sleeps through the night or angel baby all day that wakes up 20 times a night. <sighs> um, I would rather sleep during the day because I can get help during the day. I'm sorry. I'd rather sleep at night. Did I say sleep during the day? I'd rather sleep at night and have an angel baby at night and then a nightmare baby during the day. And that's kind of what I had to be on, <laughs> to be honest. Um, and so I think I would pick that again because during the day you can hire someone to help you or you can have family members over or a friend to help you, whatever is within reach for you personally, you can do that. But at night, not so much. Is my mic not plugged into my camera? Oh my goodness gracious. This is for an amateur hour over here. Glad we didn't go the whole video, but sorry, the sound sucks because it's going right into the camera and not my mic. Okay, so now we're gonna use a brand that y'all are so shocked that I've never used before. It is called Bare Minerals. That's right, I have never used Bare Minerals. Apparently like everyone and their mother used this in high school. How did y'all afford this? I was left doing something that's terrible, stealing makeup from Target because I didn't have any money and my parents would not buy me makeup. So I don't, I'm not proud of it, but that's the only way I got makeup. So I'm just wondering, sitting here like, how the heck did you guys all afford makeup from Bare Minerals. Like, where did you even buy that at? I don't even know. Let me see. Ooh, I got some juicy questions in here. Okay, so which one am I gonna use? I bought two different ones because I wanted to try them both. This one is the Original Liquid Mineral Foundation Broad Spectrum. 
Um, so I'm not really too sure how much coverage this has. And then this other one is 24 hour performance wear liquid foundation. Okay, I'm getting a little scared because I bought this a while ago and I just don't remember the coverage on either of these. So I'm just gonna pull them out and take a look because like I said a minute ago, I am not really doing full coverage foundations right now. So these both look like they might be, maybe maybe they maybe they would work performance. Like, okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go for the Performance Wear Liquid Foundation. These both had great reviews. How does this? Okay, there we go. Okay. <clears throat> I thought you were vegan. I have never been vegan in my entire life. Ever. Not once. I used to be pescatarian. Um, okay, so this is like, looks pretty like light coverage, so that's good. Now I got this freaking scratch on my forehead. Yeah, so I've never been vegan. That's been like, I think a common misconception because of the brand that I um, founded with Ryan and a couple business partners, it was vegan. So I think that a lot of people just like assumed like this person that I was vegan, but I've never been vegan in my entire life. Um, I would never be vegan. And honestly, I wish people would stop preaching to me about it. <laughs> Um, love animals and everything, but it's not for me and I choose not to be vegan and sometimes I eat vegan and you know, I do what I can here and there, but um, yeah, I'm not a vegan and I'm actually not a pescatarian anymore either. The only thing that I do not eat for sure, for sure, like I won't even eat it if I go to someone's house just to be polite. I will not eat pork. Um, and this coverage is like, this coverage is not, it's not like a heavy coverage. I don't know if it's buildable. It feels like it is the way that it's kind of drying down, but like this looks nice. This like is a nice, this is like a nice coverage, you know? Let's try and add like another layer and see what happens. Cause I got a little pimple coming in over here. So yeah, um, not vegan, never been vegan. I've only been pescatarian and that kind of sucks because I, um, my doctor is telling me that I need more meat um, and I really don't eat red meat either. And I don't like fish much. So like I'll eat salmon here and there, but um, yeah, no, I've never been vegan and I never, and I never will be vegan. Um, it's just not for me. So yeah, um, glad we could clear the air with that one. This is, um, let me see what I have in here. So the, the influencer owned brand that I was excited to try out. So I purchased three items from it. It is called Refi Beauty, it looks like this. So I got a cream bronzer, a cream blush, um, and also a brow pencil. So <laughs> this was news to me, I totally forgot what I purchased. This cream bronzer that I have over here is from Liss, and this is the color. This looks good, and then this is the Refi Beauty one. So the Refi Beauty one is a bit darker and it's a little more orangey. So I'm gonna use it on one side, and I'm gonna use this on the other side and just see what, oh, this is super creamy. Super creamy. Put some there, put some there. That tone is really nice that they sent. I think that works pretty well. I'm actually gonna put some fake tanner on today so I won't be a pasty bitch anymore. I'm like so freaking pale, you guys. Like I'm glowing at night. It's it's unreal. So now we're gonna go in with this guy. <clears throat> okay, so yeah, it's just a little more orangey, you know? And maybe like a lighter, It. I actually thought it was darker, but it's definitely not darker. It's just orangier. It's nice because it's not that dramatic, you know? It's kind of just like a sun-kissed, that like blended out super easy too. I just barely touched it and it was like all blended out. So it's definitely a little less pigmented than the List Beauty one. So I think I probably went a little too heavy handed with this over here, but this is good for like nighttime or something. It's just, yeah, it's a, it's a smidgen darker. How did you cook the Beyond Sausage? Um, I put um, a Beyond Sausage on my Instagram story and um, those are so good. It was like the perfect amount of crispy on the outside and it was just super duper tasty. 
I basically just put a little bit of olive oil, not olive oil, avocado oil spray in a pan on kind of like medium, not high, more like medium, and then just did each side and it doesn't really roll around. Like it's not like perfectly round or something. So it just kind of cooked and then I would flip it a little bit, cooked, flip it, and then I just cut it and ate it. It's like, it was really good, really good. This is like the world's tiniest blush. <laughs> this is the Refi blush in Citrine. And by the way, that bronzer is in sand, in case you were wondering the color. But look how tiny that is. It's so little. This almost looks like a bronzer to me. Um, so I'm interested to see how this looks as a blush, because I'm not sure that I'm feeling that. Maybe it's just gonna look super natural like the other thing. Let's not judge. Let's not judge a book by its cover until we put it on, because I was super wrong about the other one, because I think that looks pretty good get a little on here. I've been trying to apply cream blush with my fingers and it has historically not worked out for me. I don't know why I continue to do it. I guess I thought that was the only way, but I'm dipping my brush in here this time and I'm just going to like put this on here because I hate when cream blush removes your base. Like it just goes, I just, I'm like, ah, ah, ah. Are you Laura and Manny not close anymore? Um, so yeah, I would say we're not. Um, I don't know if we ever were close. I definitely was closer with Laura. Oh, that's pretty. I was definitely closer with Laura than um, pretty much anyone else in the influencer space. And Laura is a super awesome person and so is Manny. Um, I, nothing against them. I just don't ever go to LA anymore. And I don't get invited to any makeup events anymore. Um, and I don't like, I don't know. I just, I feel like I've been so far removed out of it for a while now that I just, I don't get invited to the events so that they don't, I don't see them. And none of them have reached out to me. None of them have sent me a message. None of them have checked in on me. And I kind of haven't done the same either. So if I was still going to events and seeing them, it'd probably be a different story and nothing against them. They're both awesome people. And I really admire their drive. And like, I think, I think they're great. I watch Laura Lee's videos all the time. I actually love her videos. And she kind of like re-inspired me for my own channel because we used to film videos together and um, and I used to hang out at her house and stuff. And yeah, I just, I don't go to LA anymore. That's pretty much like the simple version of it. And we're all very busy. So it's not that we're not, we're yeah, we're not close anymore, I guess. But it's not because we like chose that. I think it's just kind of circumstantial. And like now I have a baby. And so um yeah, I'm in San Diego and I'll pretty much do anything in my power to not ever go to LA again because I just, I used to live there. I used to live in Hollywood and I just don't, I'm not a fan of LA. I'm definitely not a fan of LA. LA and I don't get along. <laughs> I'm just going to put some Jason Wu. Um, this is Ready, Set, Matte Powder on my face to kind of set everything. Set my two different bronzers here. <laughs> Someone said, how can I get in better shape after having a baby? Almost four, four months postpartum and struggling to start. So I I didn't get back to the gym until about a month ago. Um, and my baby's eight months old. I was struggling for maybe the same reasons that you are, but I was so used to kind of just not eating whatever I wanted, but you know, you're a little more lax with yourself when you're pregnant because you're going through it. And for a lot of people, food is like their outlet. It makes them feel good. Like why is my spotlight not in the center of me? <laughs> it's driving me nuts. So I feel like everyone's struggling, struggles for a different reason, but I didn't have the childcare help and my husband's a firefighter. So he'd be gone for like freaking three days and I'd be stuck with a baby at home. Um, you know, not that I don't love hanging out with my daughter, but if you have a child, you know, it's a lot of work. It's a lot of responsibility. It's really hard and yeah, it's challenging. So, um, so yeah, I kind of struggled in that way. And then the days that he was off, I wanted to spend time with him. So I didn't want to like go to the gym. So I, I don't know. I would just say, just do it. Like go, like if you have the help in childcare, just, um, you just got to do it and buy yourself a couple cute, like new pieces of gym wear and just pump yourself up and like get back to it. Um, this is the refi beauty brow thing. As you guys know, I don't have a lot of brow hair, so we have to get creative with these. So I'm trying to think of anything else I could say to help 
help you like get in better shape. I would just say on a, look how fine that is. Oh my goodness. I would say just getting back to the gym if you did the gym or um, trying to start making a little bit better decisions for how you're eating. Um, you know, give your body the fuel that it needs to thrive and to, you know, lose weight if that's your goal or feel, feel better in general. Um, this is really hard to talk into your brows. So let me do my brows and then I'll be back. <laughs> Okay, so I feel like I need to brush these out a little bit. It's very thin, so I feel like I need a thicker pencil possibly or like brow gel to also kind of like fill in like the little gaps and stuff, you know what I mean? But brushing it out lightly right here is helping a little bit. I just got these from NYX. These are the Brow Glue in Taupe and Medium Brown. So I'm gonna be using Medium Brown. My roots are a little darker right now. I've been letting those kind of Tana just live their own life and do their own thing. I th this is so cute. Look at this little thing. Goopy. So my memory card got full and because I don't have anything on my monitor, I didn't know that it stopped recording. Super annoying. So I'm trying to remember what question I was on last, but I'm pretty much done with my makeup now. Um, I'm gonna put some lashes on though. So my memory card got full and because I don't have anything on my monitor, I didn't know that it stopped recording. Super annoying. So I'm trying to remember what question I was on last, but I'm pretty much done with my makeup now. Um, I'm gonna put some lashes on though. Oh, and I'm also gonna use, so this is a Cali Ray Surf Proof Setting Spray. It says clean, hydrating, and long wear. Shake me well. Missed four to five pumps, six to eight inches away from face. Okay, so we're gonna shake this. For mascara, I use the Ciate Wonderland Mascara. I was using this one, which I do love in Mammoth, but it was transferring from my bottom lashes down below and that one didn't. So I don't think I'm gonna be using that one down there anymore. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. Why not do 12, it's fine. So someone asked me, um, how do you handle a rough patch in your relationship? And I kind of went off on a whole thing and became your counselor for two seconds. And, um, <laughs> and I wasn't filming. So, uh, maybe I can be a little more concise now. I feel like I was all over the place before. So anyways, um, how do you handle a rough patch in your relationship in a mature way? So first of all, you can't take back anything that you say. So try to think before you say things and make sure that you would be okay if they were said to you. And if you're kind of like a very blunt person like I am, you have to use cushioning statements and you have to soften things. So I just have found that um, there's been said things said to me and I've said things that just I that stick with me and most likely stick with Nick um, that I've just said that just are kind of shitty you know and you kind of just get to a point sometimes where you're so fed up and you're so just frustrated that you just say whatever it's almost like when you're on a diet or like trying to eat well and you mess up and eat like a cookie or something and then the whole rest of the day you're like screw it I might as well just eat whatever I want because I messed up that one little thing don't feel like that just remember that words can hurt and people will not forget them. And people will not forget the way that it made them feel. Almost treat your significant other like you are, cause I'm in a rough patch right now. And so I feel like I can speak from experience, like not that I'm the know all be all, but you have to basically pretend like you are living with a roommate that you are having a hard time getting along with. Um, but you would still be respectful, you know what I mean? Like if this is like a stranger that you just moved in with. So just trying to figure out why the other person's maybe hurting, why they're projecting on you because sometimes, sometimes it's not even about you and sometimes it, they're hurting for another reason and maybe they're not getting everything that they need out of the relationship and maybe you can better yourself and learn how to protect their heart and protect them and be there for them. I feel like everyone's timelines and times and things like that are different, but I truly feel like between three and six years of a relationship are kind of the hardest 
because you are no longer in the honeymoon phase. The newness of the relationship has worn off and you are kind of getting down into the nitty gritty of living together and making all of these decisions together. And you really have to like, and you're still learning the person, like even three years in, you're still learning everything about that person and like what makes them them and what makes them tick. And like, you know, when people are together for like 10 years, they pretty much just know how to handle each other for the most part. And like, not that they're perfect, I'm sure, but like they know what the person needs before the person knows that's what they need, if that makes sense. This one is coming off in the end here. My camera got too hot and shut off. We're <laughs> battling all sorts of uh, difficulties today. So on my lips, this is actually a new one from NYX. This is Smooth Whip Matte Lip Cream in, what's this shade? Cheeks. So it's a little light for me, like I would probably put um, a lip liner on over it. This little snot nose woke up too. She's fighting a cold right now and she won't let me wipe her nose pretty much ever. Also, going through this and having a baby with somebody adds a whole nother level of difficulty to a relationship, and it's difficult. You just have to try and respect each other. Um, and you see the baby? You see yourself in the mirror? Oh, we are so wiping that nose in a minute. So anyways, I guess that concludes this video. I really am loving the way this foundation looks. What do you think? Do you like mom's foundation? Does it look good? I hate wearing lipstick around the house though because all I want to do is kiss this little baby and I can't kiss her right now. Actually, maybe I can. <laughs> One last question someone asked me that I did answer when I didn't know my camera wasn't filming is my breast implants and how it, it oh my gosh, we have to wipe this right now, sorry. Oh, are you sorry, babies? My breast implants look the same as they did. I, I got them below the muscle though, so they look different or they look the same they look different I think after you breastfeed if you have them over the muscle <clears throat> but I have them under the muscle and I only breast her breastfed her for like three months so they look the same and honestly Nick and I were saying that we think that my boobs would look even better if they dropped even a little bit more after I breastfed so I don't think I'm like, I don't regret getting them done before I had a baby. Like I am so glad that I did because I want to have more than one and what? So then I'm supposed to get my boobs done when I'm like close to 40. Like I'm not wasting all that time looking hot in dresses. Um, and not that you have to have a boob job to look hot, but for me, it gives me the confidence that I need in certain dresses. And I just, I personally made the right decision for myself. Thanks for watching guys. Everything will be in the description box below and hopefully I can get a little better at these makeup videos again. I feel like it's been a little while and I'm like a little rusty, but if there's anything specifically that you guys want to see, let me know. Bye-bye.